Hey guys, Robert here from Badger Reel. Today, Mandy is going to show us all how to waterproof her one-wheel GT. All right guys, let's get started. First thing we gotta do is we gotta disassemble the board and remove any accessories. So normally when I work on my one wheel, I would use this uh, pill organizer to keep my bolts straight. There's only two bolt sizes on the one wheel GT, which means I'm gonna get rid of it. It's working. Oh, that comes right out. That's nice. Okay. It's working. Oh, I got one bubble right on the bottom side there. Yeah. And we're back. That's been curing for about 20 minutes. And we're gonna check to see if this took care of all the leaks. Uh, so in our tests so far, we found that if you get about two minutes, two to three minutes on the sniffer test, that's gonna validate uh, the work that you did on the connectors to make sure those are sealed. Sealing these two connectors on the controller got us to 100% seal on three out of three boards that we have waterproofed so far. If you are still not getting a seal at this point, uh, I'm gonna go through the next steps of likely scenarios that you can check um, before you have to remove any warranty stickers or do anything too invasive. Okay, first check. Make sure the sniffer is working correctly. Just hold it against a smooth surface and make sure it doesn't inflate. When you apply the sniffer tool, make sure that it's perfectly centered on the vent and hold it firmly down Replace the sticker on your battery box vent hole with a more aggressive sticky piece of tape like duct tape and really push it on there very tight to make sure that there's absolutely no possible way that air could be leaking in through that vent. You can also double check your work on the uh, connectors. Just a light spray with Windex anywhere that there could be a leak and then you just pressurize with a sniffer tool Anywhere you see bubbles, dry it off and then seal up that area with silicone. So the next step is for those of you who really want to get to 100%, does involve taking the covers off of your uh, components. We're going to take off this rail to get the controller isolated and then we're going to take a look at the gasket inside of there.
Double and triple check your work, kids. Take it off, see if there's a little wisp of air. Okay. How to badger your one wheel GT, take two. For racing purposes only. <laughs> Did you see that? All the car tires have that. No. <laughs> You're not allowed to take it on the highway. No cruisers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a montage. We'll play that song by Rusted Root. Send me on my way. Send me on my way. <sighs> I can't get it. <laughs> I thought this video was supposed to be about how easy this was. And then you get your boyfriend. No, just kidding. I have to show the people how easy it is. Yes! Get rid of it. Oh my. That was probably user error. You know that, this shit's way less waterproof than we thought. <laughs> Good thing we didn't let John name this product or we'd be calling it Badger Juice. <laughs> Paging Dr. Badger. Sleep tight.